Valley Tuesdays. Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Ellswick, president of Tasty Blend Foods. Welcome back to my kitchen. You know, up to this point, I've been showing you the basics with our mixes, but today I want to show you something a little more adventurous with our Taze Valley cornbread. What we're going to do today is what we like to refer to as our Mexican cornbread, and it's got a whole bunch of stuff that you can put in it. You're going to need some corn, some green peppers, some onions and jalapenos, which I've already kind of chopped up and I've already drained the corn, put it all on a plate. I've also got my favorite cheese and some sour cream. Now remember, you can put as much in this as you want or as little as you want. But before we get started, we need to get our oven preheated to 425 and we want to take our cast iron skillet, we want to get some oil in it to, to coat it, and then we'll get it nice and hot so that when we pour in the cornbread, we get that crust on the bottom. So we'll just make sure that we pour in enough oil to coat it. I don't measure it. I just want to see that it's coated and there's a little bit left. We'll get it in the oven nice and hot and I'll show you guys how to get everything else mixed up. While our pan is in the oven getting hot, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get our cornbread mix into our bowl. We're going to need about a cup of buttermilk and we're going to need a cup of everything else. Now, as I said before, it's really what you want in there and what you don't. If you want more onion, put in more onion. If you want more jalapeno, put in more jalapeno. So here I have onion, green pepper, jalapeno, and then the one can of corn that I've went ahead and drained. And I'm just gonna put all of that right in on top of the mix. Then I'm also gonna go ahead and put in about a half a cup of cheese. I'm gonna say this is more like a cup, but it's all I have left. So, we'll put it all in there. Then we need a cup of sour cream. Once we get the sour cream in there, we'll get the milk on top, we'll get it mixed up smooth, and then hopefully our pan will be ready and you guys will get to see the nice crispy crust that we're gonna get on that. The best thing about this is you literally just dump everything inside the bowl. There's no kind of separate mixing, there's no other kind of prep, just everything in and mix it until it's smooth. How do I know when it's mixed up good? Well, it shouldn't be runny and it also shouldn't be too thick. Do you want it to be nice and kind of smooth like a batter so you can get it all in that pan and get that good crust on it? If it's too thick, enough of it won't spread out to get the crust. And uh, so you want to make sure that it's just thin enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Our grease has been in this pan for about 15 minutes and I can tell that it's ready because I can smell it. Now remember, you wanna be so, so careful with this. It's very, very, very hot. When we pour this in here, this oil is gonna instantly crust up our cornbread and give us a nice, solid bottom, okay? So we just wanna very carefully pour this in here. Be careful not to splash yourself, and don't worry about shaking it or smoothing it, because that hot oil is just gonna burn you, okay? So here we go. Once we got it in there, we're just going to carefully get it right back into the oven. I've gotten this out of the oven, and would you just look at how delicious it is. I want to show you guys the crust we were able to achieve since we did that nice hot oil first. When you lift this up just the tiniest bit, you could see this nice crust. You got the vegetables and the cheese that all got nice and brown and done, and it goes all the way down to the bottom as well. This is going to pair well with any of your favorite dishes, but it's also so full and hearty of vegetables, you can eat it on its own with a little bit of butter. Remember that you can find all of these recipes on our website, tastyblend.com, and you can always find us in your local grocer just by looking for the Big Red Barn. Last thing I want to tell you is, nobody has to know that it came from a mix. Mm -hmm.